What is up, fellas? It's Tim. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, we got another regular commentary today. I was going to do a live commentary or at least start kind of a live comm series. I don't know how feasible this is. I don't know how well my computer can run while recording face cam and, you know, the game itself and audio and all that stuff. Uh, I like to have things at a pretty high setting and I don't believe my computer can handle it. So uh, until I figure out how to do that, we'll be sticking with some regular commentaries. With that being said, uh, I do want to, you know, increase the level of content in my channel, you know, make them obviously just better and better videos as we go on. So any advice or tips, uh, go ahead and leave them in the comment section down below what you want to see, how I can improve my videos, all that good stuff would be much appreciated. And while you're down there, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new to the channel. It would just help my channel out. Let's see if we can hit like 2300 subscribers by the end of 2020. That would be awesome if we could hit that goal. So uh, go ahead and do that. Spread the word if you could. Follow me on Twitter and let's get into the video. So it looks like a lot of Black Ops Cold War Season 1 leaks have been data mined, uh, at least yesterday. At the time uh, that this video actually goes up, it looks like yesterday a lot of data mined, a lot of game modes, a lot of maps have been kind of leaked for Season 1. And if you didn't know, Black Ops Cold War Season 1 releases on December 10th, which is pretty soon actually, a little bit over a week at the time of this video going up. So it's pretty much in tune with, uh, you know, Call of Duty. It's Call of Duty this year, if you didn't know, uh, just a little quick little backstory here. Cold War is not a finished product. A lot of people are rating Black Ops Cold War like it's a finished product and it's simply not, okay? Black Ops Cold War is the most in progress, like work in progress kind of Call of Duty that we've seen to date so far, okay? It's just straight up in progress the entire time. They're constantly, you know, fixing it, tuning it, all that good stuff like right in front of us, you know, like they always ask us our opinions on Reddit and Twitter, things like that. And apparently they're making it very open for community feedback to uh, kind of just, you know, just they want community feedback. I don't know how else to put it. Okay. So the first piece of information that was leaked is that we're going to be getting our quote unquote fan favorite bare bones game mode back to Cold War. I don't know exactly what it's going to be like, but if you guys remember bare bones was basically the mode where you didn't have score streaks. I'm going to guess in this game, you won't have field up upgrades and things like that. Maybe not even wild cards. They, I, don't, I don't exactly know what they might strip away. But what's curious about this is that they mentioned Bare Bones as a fan favorite mode. Um, I think it was a fan favorite mode in Black Ops 4 because people hated specialists. Specialists are not in this game. I, I don't think Bare Bones is going to be the way to go. If you really hated the score streak system and Bare Bones just eliminates that and makes it kill streaks, that would be very interesting. You know what I'm saying? Like currently the score streak system, a lot of people have issues with as my good friend Daifo once rated it goes score streaks kill streaks and then whatever Cold War has whatever you want to call it uh, I kind of agree with him at this point because it doesn't seem rewarding you know I could make an entire video on Black Ops Cold War score streaks and I, I honestly might you know in the future I honestly might make that video but for now I just want to say that Cold War streaks don't feel rewarding and they don't feel very um, satisfying to get. They don't feel earned, you know, like I think what was cool about kill streaks and even score streaks to a certain degree, but obviously a bit of a less degree than kill streaks. Uh, what was cool about the kill streaks was if you died, that was it. You don't get a second chance. Uh, there's no death streaks. There's no, you know, like, oh, I, I could just come back and get two more kills and then boom, earn my chopper gunner. There's none of that. You know, there's just this high level of anticipation, uh, agitation that you're just on a streak. You know, I'm on a 10. I'm on a merciless. I cannot afford to die here. And, and that's what a lot of Call of Duty players kind of thrived on. You know, they, they love that feeling, that high octane energy of like, like, oh man, I'm, I'm two away from a nuke or like I'm, I'm three away from a chopper gunner and you can tell like right away. Unfortunately in Cold War there doesn't really seem to be that aspect in this game you know that's one of the negative things I can honestly say about Cold War is that it doesn't have that high octane that anticipation of like oh man like I'm so close to a chopper gunner I just gotta cap a flag and get two kills or something. Nobody thinks that way you know in Cold War you don't think that way you just think like oh I, I better stay alive it says I'm on a five right now. You don't do the math in your head like oh I'm, I'm 50 away I'm two 200 away. You don't think that way. I think kill streaks was way simpler, but in my personal opinion, I prefer score streaks. I can make a video on that. Like I said before, this video is not about my opinion on that. I just wanted to mention that yes, bare bones is coming back. Apparently bare bones search, bare bones, hardcore TDM and bare bones VIP escort are known for sure. And I think if those are known for sure, then there might be an entire bare bones section of the game. And honestly, that might not be good because we could be splitting the player base, the cold war player base as fractured as it is, you know, between uh, 
12v12 fire team once warzone comes out people are playing zombies people playing different modes in 6v6 it's it's getting kind of fractured and i don't know if a full-on bare bones mode would work now a bare bones mosh pit might work but if you're going to do a bare bones mosh pit and Treyarch, if you're listening here this is for you if you're going to do a bare bones mosh pit what I want to see is a respawn mode and then a non-respawn mode. So if you wanted to play search or VIP, you go into that one. Otherwise, you go into TDM, kill confirm, DOM, and hard points. Let's say those four. And you know, you might like you might not like it. You know, you might not like TDM mixed with hard point, because obviously those are two different types of players. But honestly, I'd rather have that than have a bunch of fractured playlists where nobody's in. Now I could be wrong, you know, there could be a ton of people in these Cold War playlists. Who really knows, right? But at the end of the day, that's that's just what I want to say and it looks like if killstreaks are out of the equation then there's not going to be less camping that would be my guess and we don't know if killstreaks are going to be out there's no set in stone date for the release of bare bones and cold war so it could come in the middle it could come at the end it might not even come in season one uh, it's just you know a data mine leak like i said and speaking of leaks i will leave the links in the description down below to the articles uh the tweets are most likely going to be gone because i'm recording this the previous night uh, at the time of when this video should be going up uh so they're most likely going to be gone but you know if in the case that they're not uh it, it is what it is um i don't know just follow the accounts and maybe they'll tweet it again or find them on google or something i don't know the other leak that i wanted to mention is we are getting a handful of maps for season one which is good right this is one of the biggest issues regarding cold war it's just the lack of maps right the lack of maps is just very concerning people are bored people feel like we played the same game in the beta this is just beta weekend four beta weekend five whatever so i think new maps are definitely going to solve this so we have this leak and again i can't show pictures i do not want to get copyright struck uh, my channel's doing pretty well right now I, I don't want to you know cause any harm or anything to maybe happen to it but it looks like new maps are coming to season one duh we knew that few of them are going to be 2v2 maps unfortunately so it looks like we're getting four and it seems like there's going to be at least one or two that are going to be 2v2 maps I'm okay with like one or two. I don't want to see three 2v2 maps and one 6v6. You know, that would be just annoying. I, I would like to see as many 6v6 maps as possible. Hopefully they just bring in some remasters. Um, you know, if they bring in some new ones and they're good, I'm all for it, right? Who isn't? But at the state of map making right now, and this is also another commentary in and of itself, Treyarch, Infinity Ward, Sledgehammer even, I, I don't know who's making these maps, who's doing this stuff, but like the map design has gotten so convoluted, so cluttered, and it just doesn't make for a good gameplay experience. Like honestly, the maps look great. You know, Monover maps looked amazing. I'll, I'll give them that every day of the week. Cold War maps, they, they don't look amazing, but they, they play better than Monover maps, but they also don't play great. They're no firing range summit. And I know that's a heavy bar, that's a high bar for maps to contend with, but you gotta think it is the same development studio and it's roughly the same people, you know? Like it's still Treyarch, it's still Vaughn, Tony Flame. The same people are still there, the same people are still developing the game. Did you just lose your touch or something? Like, shouldn't you be improving as the years go by, as technology gets better? I don't really know. Maybe they just lost the fundamentals. Maybe they just got lucky in Black Ops 1 and 2, and the rest of the maps are just kind of whatever. I don't have an issue with Treyarch maps usually. Cold War's maps are probably the weakest of any Treyarch game, uh, like, to date. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just saying it right now. So for that reason, I'm not, like, thrilled. I'm not, like, jumping up and down at the aspect of, oh, new Treyarch maps coming. Like, yeah, they're cool. They're probably better than mono for maps but that doesn't that's not saying much you, you know what i mean like mono for maps are very kind of at the bottom for me and uh, track maps are usually very high cold war is like very in the middle right now I, i'm not a big fan of the cold war maps as you heard in my my video yesterday if you watched that if you didn't make sure to watch it you know why not it's, it's my channel I'll just watch my videos right so it's pretty cool that uh, some new maps are coming and we have some more leaked pictures again i, I can't show you so i you don't know there's not much to talk about more than just they look good i guess they, it looks like there's going to be some 2v2 maps i can make a video on that once that comes out kind of like a season one first impressions release and and all that good stuff so that'll probably be happening once once that uh, season comes out i'm looking forward to it you know don't get me wrong i'm not like sleeping on it cold war still in my opinion it can be fun and i think once i get dark matter and use real guns again it will be much more fun you know it really just depends on your goal for call of duty if your goal is to get a chopper gunner or a nuke every game yeah this game's probably not for you it's much more difficult uh pe the matchmaking is much more difficult and people sweat way more than other game modes or other games so so a nuke every game that might not be uh, up your alley you might want to go back to like mono warfare if you're looking for something like that 
That's just about gonna wrap it up for the video. So if you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Again, I will be trying to do a live comm soon-ish. No guarantees. You know, if I really just can't figure it out, I'll be sticking with regular commentaries for the rest of the year. And maybe we'll see what happens after that. But I'm, I, again, like I'm trying to figure this out. I've been spending a lot of time and effort into, uh, into doing this. And I wanna make high quality content for you guys as high as possible so that you guys enjoy, so you guys subscribe and maybe, you know, tell your friends about it if you really enjoy the content. But until then, I appreciate what you guys are doing for me. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Make sure to have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.